Hi. In this tutorial, we will show how to create a 3D paneling using complex space polysurfaces. You might have a polysurface as an input, one that is made out of multiple faces that have different parameterization and are joined along edges with locations that might not align with the desired paneling directions. In this example, we will use a workflow to reconstruct curves and use as base to create the paneling grid. First, we extract the center curve and can also rebuild to create a simpler curve. Next, extract the end curves using the polysurface boundary. Use double border command to extract the boundary, then split at the end faces. Rebuild end curves and make sure all three curves go in the same general direction. Now you can extract intermediate curves using tween curves command. After creating the intermediate curves, you might notice that the ends do not align with the original poly surface. To fix that, divide the end curve to create reference points, then adjust the tween curves to align properly using control point editing. Basically, select the curves, turn the control points on, select them, and move them to the desired location. Repeat the process at both ends. Once you're done, make sure to project your curves to ensure that they lay on the original poly surface. Now we have created a set of curves that approximate the original poly surface and are spaced at a distance that we can use for paneling. Use PT grid U curves command to create the grid. You can adjust the number of spans to define your unit grid size. Once you create the grid, it is highly recommended that you run PT panel grid command just in the preview to be able to check that your grid is well ordered. We now have one grid, but in order to create a 3D panels, we need a second one. In this case, we need the second grid to be offset at a fixed distance. In order to do that, we need a reference surface to offset the points against. Use PT surface from grid of edit points command to create the surface that actually goes through the points. You can check the new surface and how it compares to the original poly surface. Use PT offset points command to offset the grid. You can place the resulting grid in a new layer and change the color to, to be able to differentiate more easily. You can also group the points. Notice that the four corner points were not offset properly. This can happen for the points that are directly at the edge. You can correct that manually, but a better solution is to scale the surface a tiny amount and then pull the points to the surface. Now repeat the offset of the points and you can see that they all offset in the same direction. Change the color and group them to help with the selection. If we need to create a smooth panels, then we need a second bounding surface as well. Again, you can use the PT surface from grid of edit points 
using the new offset points to create the second bounding surface. We will create a simple module to populate. It can be made of any geometry type. Mesh modules populate very quickly, but a NURBS one makes smooth paneling. Now that we have the two bounding grids, the two bounding surfaces, and the module, we can run the PT Panel 3D custom command, select the two bounding grids and the two bounding surfaces in the same order. Select your module and press Enter. The result is a smooth 3D paneling that was based on complex poly surface. Thank you.